Okay, hi everyone. I'm going to do a quick video today. Might not be that quick. Um, I'm going to do a making video and it's going to be of dark carnival soap. I'm using my phone again because the camera I bought just isn't that great and um, it's a shame because I've got a proper um, tripod for the camera and I haven't got one for this. The makeshift little stand I've made is so ghetto you wouldn't even believe. But it works alright. So. It's just the phone, it's just easier to upload, I can upload straight from the phone, so that's what I will do. Okay, so my oils are kind of um, cooling, they're kind of there I think, they might be a bit, I'm just going to check. I like to soap it around 100 degrees. Ouch. I'm just going to see, I don't think it's... That far off actually. I just put my lye water in the sink to uh, cool down because that was quite hot. I think I'm about there. And what I'm going to do is a column swirl in this soap. This is dark carnival so I wanted to use some vibrant colours. The last dark carnival soap I made was just a neutral base I think with some balls in, like soap balls. And then I did like some splashes of colour over the top to kind of like get like those carnival colours that you find on the old fairground rides, you know. Um, but this time I thought let's do a snazzy column swirl and just use all the colours I want to use. So I've got to make like a limeish sort of green I want. I've got a turquoise, I've got a red sort of pinky mica and I've got a yellow mica and I want to leave part out to be neutral as well. So, also, I'm going to do three column swirls within one. So I've got some cups that I've set up. You'll see in a second when I go to um, pour the soap. So, which I see. I'm just going to check my lye water and see if it's ready. Yeah, it'll kind of do. It's a bit. It's been sitting in water, and. Um, I just made up a new master batch so it was pretty hot. Yeah, that's about right. So I'm just going to put my goggles on, get this uh, water into the oils. So this is my normal recipe. It's just um, two liquid oils, two solid oils and cocoa butter. And I generally use the same base. All as Well, I do use the same base all the time. That's that. I'm just going to stick blend it to a light trace. I haven't done a video for a while, so I is rusty. So bear with me a moment, I'll be back. Okay, I've just stick blended. You're not going to be able to see everything here because I haven't got you propped up high. Uh, what do I want? One, two, three, four. Four colours. Two colours. Take my goggles off so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, six. That was close. Nearly tipped it onto the table. Okay, kind of there, I think. So my neutral base, I just, I'm going to need it. I'm just going to need it. Oh, I'll pour it into that one actually. That one's free. I just want the same amount of each colour. It's a right bloody rigmarole trying to do soaps like this because of the cleanup that's what I hate I always use you know I like to sort of do like a one color, one color soap two color soap three four you know just gets on my nerves because there's too much cleaning at the end and I hate cleaning hate it I don't mean I hate cleaning generally I hate cleaning soap pots it's just the worst thing because it's greasy and messy and everything has to be cleaned twice and then I do like a bleach wash so that 
all my stuff's clean for the next time. It's just one of those, oh, that's the crappy job. You know, that's where you need like a help to do all the rubbish work. <laughs> Donkey work, as they call it. Okay, I'm going to start with the micas, just because they're probably the easiest to do, because I can just stand them. Mix them in with my spoon, so I want yellow. I don't mix mine with oil, I just shove them in. They tend to disperse pretty well. I do, if I use oxides, I've got some oxides I'm using today as well. If I use oxides, I do generally whiz those up with a stick blender. But the micas, not so much, because it's, they just seem to mix in okay. She says, as they all stick to the side of the jug. No, that's a good yellow, as you can see, it just doesn't take much to get them into the soap batter. So I don't like to faff about with a stick landing so much. Okay, that's yellow. Lids. Then we're going with the blue. I love this colour, this is a, such a pretty turquoise. Such a pretty colour. Get that in there. And sometimes if I use enough, like in the soap you get like the sparkle, you can kind of see it. If you get it at the right angle, you can see the colour. Um, um, you can see the sparkles sort of coming off of the soap, which is really nice. That's just like fabulous colour. Now the fragrance blend I made, I hope it doesn't discolour, it used to a little bit to like a tan, but we might get away with it because these colours are so vibrant, I mean it might go a little bit more dull, you know, I don't mind dull, as long as it doesn't take it down to brown, <laughs> we will live in hope and we'll see what happens. So the other day I was uh, jarring up, sorry, putting up some perfume vials ready. I was sort of um, decanting into one mil little vials and I was pushing down on one of them to try and get it, the lid on and I put too much oil in there and the thing just smashed and all the glass went straight into my thumb. So that was nice. So for the last few days I've been not making soap because that day I actually made soap in that afternoon I got lye, like lye water, in the cut. <laughs> and it really, 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 really hurt. So that was like, oh god, honestly, really, really painful. And it's still hurting today, it feels like there's something stuck in there, there isn't. I've checked it out but it really, oh god, the pain. I was like trying to make soap at the same time as it was just like continuing to burn into my thumb. So this week, oh god, even writing has been really difficult the way I hold my pen. Well, I hold my pen like a normal person. But it just, every time I bent my thumb, oh my god, just so painful. So that was just not very nice. <laughs> I'm very clumsy, like, I'm a really clumsy person. Loads of people think, oh, she's so together. I'm the most clumsy person you will ever meet in your life. Ever. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to just make up a... Lime green, if I can, we'll have to use stick blender this one. <laughs>
going to bring the mould over here. And you'll see what I've done. I've made like a little... Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm going to forget about that for now. I need to get this plain. Okay, so I've got three columns there. And I'm going to pour... Start to pour this soap in. On those. Yellow. So I've done column soils before, but never with three columns. I just thought I'd just change it up a bit just to have a little excitement, you know. my blue. See? I do things on camera. If I wasn't filming, that wouldn't have happened. I swear my life. Goodness. And neutral. That's probably probably why, because it's a uh, oxide, and they thicken the soap batter. Really, that's what's happened. Leave a bit for the top. Getting those carnival colours are kind of working. We're getting closer to the top now, which is nice. So the scent is like a caramel and coconut and tonka bean and all wonderfulness. Like a rich cream, it's, it's really, really, really nice. And it's gone general catalogue, which is why I'm making it now, because people ask for it to come out GC. This last bit's going to go a bit wonky on me, but... Doesn't really matter. Just wang it all in there. Cool, isn't it? That's a pretty cool way of making a soap. Top. So this next bit will be probably a little tricky, or maybe not. Now we've got to get the cups out. So they came in handy. They're just some cheapy cups I bought to do, you know, things like this. suction on that one. I'm 
be a messy job. But I think it's kind of cool. Colours came out good, surely. Definitely has that kind of fairground vibe, you know. And this is all based around the film Something Wicked This Way Comes. And I also, I was going to do it black, white and red so that it could pick up on that uh, book, The Night Circus, as well. But then I thought, no, I'll just stick to my original thing. God, look at that mic of everywhere. You just have to ignore my mess. Okay, so I'm just going to... Oh, sorry. splattering going on so we can have a textured top and I might even use a bit of gold glitter on the top because fairgrounds you know it's all about the glitter and the bling I've got to do sparkle box and I've got to do toffee moon face, black currant damson, frangipan, and what's the other one? Uh, dark carnival, sparkle box, toffee moon face, black currant damson, that's it. Black currant damson, frangipan. So, yeah, this is the first one of the four new general catalogue scents. I made. So working on summer release as well. I'll just fill you in with what's going on. Um, it's not going to go live yet. It might be maybe by the start of the month. I'm going to have to take a week off at the start of June. So it might go live then and then we'll start shipping when I come back. I might do that. Or I might do it before, I might do it after. I'm not sure yet. You see how it goes. I've still got stuff to make, so there are lots and lots of stuff to make for that one. But um, I'm trying to make in the afternoon. So pack orders in the mornings and make stuff in the afternoon. So I'm constantly, you know, trying to keep up with it all. It's all good. It's just uh, there's always so much to do. People say, oh, "Are you busy?" It's like, really? I think they think I'm just on a little uh, jolly in this room, you know, and I don't work. <laughs> it's the people next door. I'm sure they just think, oh, she's got a little soap business. And actually, it's crazy. It's crazy. But there you go. Okay, I don't know how far away you are. Let's see if I can bring you in to see a little bit more of this. Look, just a second, lost you there. Okay, I'm just going to have to prop you up again. Here we go. Okay, so you can kind of see what I've done. I'm just going to swirl the top a bit. You take goggles off now. I don't know what it's going to be like inside. I'm, I'm sort of toying with the idea that I should have taken this chopstick down inside a bit, maybe. Just do a bit of that in there. I just don't want like the general, you know, the usual column swirl. I want it to look a bit different, so. God, there's mess everywhere. Okay, let's 
just do some peaks on the top and then I'll get the glitter. It's a bit like uh, festival soap but with different colours. But festival I just basically pour it in so I do like a drop swirl and on that one. But this one I just wanted to play about a bit, you know. And that's come out like pretty cool. Right, I have some gold glitter. I'll just get a bit on my fingers and just get some on the top. So I think that'll work well. I'm not usually a glitter fan, you know, I don't really like it very much, but on something like this, I think it needs it. I don't really want to do any more to it, so I'll bring you around to get you a close-up on there. There we have it. The colours never pick up in this room, but it's a sort of darker than what it looks like on here. So that is dark carnival soap. Okay, bye!